Where are we and who are you? Okay, I'm <coughs> Luis and I'm a co-owner of this shop. Uh, called Under the Cover. This is a life project. It's like a dream come true. So when we decided to open a store, we thought uh, it would be a great idea to work with whatever we already like in life. So when I discovered this shop, I was like, oh, this is like so up my alley because it was like, not only was it like fashion magazines, but they have like a lot of interior magazines, they have art magazines, they have like quarterly journals books. There's still really nothing like, I think, having a magazine or having like a printed journal because it's like the feeling of, of literally like, you know, or at least my generation, I mean, I'm like kind of the first wave of the social media generation. It's like still, it's like I didn't grow up reading things on a screen, you know what I mean? It's like I grew up like with the book in my hand, with the magazine in my hand. So I like, I, I, I always, I think, will feel comfortable with like how information is like condensed you know, and like in a magazine format. I love Moose. It actually it takes me usually like two months to actually read this magazine because it's like a lot of stuff condensed into like one art magazine. I think it's like so important, like, I think, I'm gonna be honest, like I, I think places like, like Undercover are important to like anyone that's into like arts, culture, literature. But I think especially it's a spaces like this I found in my lifetime are super important for like queer kids because it's like it's where you can like come and like feel like okay this is like a space where like I can like find things that I can relate to you know that are really tactile and I think that like people still need a lot like a lot of like you know visceralness in their lives you know not just you know a constant scroll on, on Instagram. I actually, uh, many years ago, I actually wrote a short article for 023C. For the month of July, I'm going to be the guest editor of Dazed and Confused uh, online. So, uh, the last two months, uh, I've been working with the editor of Dazed and like with various musicians, artists, photographers um, to create content because like starting July 1st to July 30th, or July 31st, depending on if it's, I forget how many days are in July, but for the whole entire month of July, I'm the guest editor of Days Digital. <laughs>